But first, let me introduce you to the new Bing homepage. You're gonna notice some subtle but important changes. First, we have an expanded search box capable of accepting up to 1,000 characters, because now Bing works with natural language. And you saw a little hint to chat, which I'm gonna get back to in a second. Now I wanna set up the first search scenario. My daughter and I, we both love art. She's studying art at school, and I'd like to stay connected with her on our mutual passion. Last semester, she was learning about Mexican painters. I'd like to get a quick summary of the most influential Mexican painters and their works to learn a bit more about the topic. If I type the full query of what I'd like to know in today's search, here's what I'd get. And so I'll just type in, compare the most influential Mexican artists and their top paintings, and you'll get what you expect, right? Some links. It's fine, but we can do better. Let's try this now in the new Bing. What you'll see as we pull up is first you see the web results here on the left, but then on the right you start to see how we start to compile the answer. And what you get here now is we have the ability to highlight these web links. We can annotate the results. And that's because we're able to go in and apply our index onto the answers there. In other words, the answers and the search on one page has saved me a huge amount of time. This gives you a little bit of a sense of what you can do. Now you've seen some of this before. You might say, hey, I've seen some of this. Let's show you how we can do some additional things. I'm gonna show you another query. So where we use the timeliness of search. So let's go ahead and ask about events in Scottsdale during the Super Bowl. And what you'll see is we get back an answer here where we have events and we're able to do that because Bing crawls web. Notice how we can find not only that the Super Bowl is played in Glendale on the 12th, but then the events like Cardi B's Super Bowl party that's on the 10th also shows up. So we're able to pull these things together. So you get, start to get a sense of how we can build on what's today with the Bing index. Now I'm gonna show you a few more of these types of answers quickly so you can get a sense of the power and the time savings from Bing. When I'm uh, running an errand, like the example I gave to you earlier, I can ask Bing to determine if that new love seat from Ikea is gonna fit in the back of my Honda Odyssey. And what you'll see is Bing can actually find the dimensions of the love seat, the interior space of the car, and then make an estimation as to whether it will fit. In this case, I'm choosing an example of where Bing does not know the answer. And we know, uh, and we know that we can't be definitive about it. And the reason I'm doing that is because we know we won't be able to answer every question every time. But Bing can still provide some helpful information, as you can see on this answer. We also know we'll make our share of mistakes, and as we begin to roll this out. So we've added a quick feedback button at the top of every search so that you can give us feedback and we can learn. Another example, when I'm shopping, I can ask Bing to search, find, and compare the top three selling pet vacuums list, listing the pros and cons. And just take a look. Look how great this answer is. It has all three of the products I'm looking for, super helpful pros and cons. Stop and think, if you had to compile that, how much time that would take you to do? And as you can see at the top of the page, we still have the advertising in this example because we know when people are shopping, those ads are helpful. And finally on this one, if I'm cooking and I realize I've forgotten a key ingredient, for in this case, for example, eggs for my cake recipe, Bing can not only find the, exact, the egg substitutes, it can get me the exact amount for each ingredient. And, and take a look at this, I love this. You can actually see, for example, if you go with vinegar and baking soda, the cake is lighter and more fluffy. These are just little helpful tips that every day help make your life a little better. These are just some examples. And you can start to get a sense of how with answers, we go far beyond what you can do with search day. We can actually help you get what you want to get done. Now let me tell you about how Bing goes further to help you with particularly complex questions for which there's not a precise answer. I want to introduce to you the new chat experience in Bing. I think of this as search with your own personal helper to help you refine your query until you get exactly what you're looking for. This comes in handy for activities like trip planning and shopping research. Let's start with shopping. So, I'm gonna look for a 65 inch TV. Again, you see our ads at the top, the, result, the links on the left, and the answers here on the right. And you can pick whichever you'd like. We give you a good set of answers, but now I wanna refine this query. So I can do that by going to chat. Now I can either swipe up with my fingers or look up here at the top of the screen. We have now a new chat scope. And with that, with one click, you are now into chat. Look how beautiful that is. Search to chat, just so seamless. 
And now we take away all of the content that was in your place, and you focus you on your query. The search box you can't see, now that can take up to 2,000 characters. So you can really, you can just talk to it. You can just ask for it. So in this case, let's say I'm going to ask for a gaming optimized TV. All I have to say is, which of these are best for gaming? And we remember all of the context. We know that we're talking about flat screens. We know we're talking about 65 inch TVs. And look how Bing starts to come back. It does all the queries on my behalf and comes back with a great answer. And I just want to highlight a few things for you. Since we know you're asking about gaming TVs, we pull out, oh, this one has a game optimizer, this has game mode. And so we make that really helpful. I'm on a budget. I'll ask you to adjust it for uh, which one of these is the cheapest. Again, Bing knows the context, and it just goes in and refires the queries. So easy. You just talk to it, and you can refine your shopping experience. And again, we find the prices here. I didn't know you could get a flat screen for under $500, but that's a good deal there on Bing if you're looking for a TV. All right, so we think that's going to make shopping and and shopping easier. Let's talk about travel. And before I jump in there, I want to kind of just remind, have you remind yourself, when you're going to plan a trip to a foreign country, think about all the things you go through. Travel times, what sites do I want to see, uh, regulations to observe, budget. Our research shows we're on Bing, people spend on average weeks to even months to plan a trip and to use our organizational tools. I'm going to show you how we make that so much easier with the new Bing. I'm traveling to Mexico for my cousin's wedding. And with the new Bing, I now don't have to start with something that's dumbed down, like Mexico City travel tips. I can ask for what I want. First, let me just compare that against what you get in today's search engines. So I'll type in this long query of what I really want, and you know, you get what you expect. Links to go try and find, find the answer for yourself, right? But we can do much better. Let's try it in the new Bing. So I'll type the, I put in the long query, which is essentially create an itinerary for a five-day trip to Mexico City for me and my family. And just like that, Bing goes to work. And just take a look at how it starts to compile. It starts with day one, and we, we put in there, look, arrive in Mexico City, check into your hotel, go check out maybe the Playa de Artes, you know, have some lunch, then there's day two. And you see, isn't this just so much better as a starting point? And look, if you want to learn more, if you're like, hey, I don't love these five days, no problem. Down there, we have links where you can go and learn more. And, uh, and we put in some nice touches in there as well. And again, now let's say business travel changes. Oh, I only have a three-day. I don't have to go back out there and figure it. I just say, hey, make this a three-day trip. And Bing reflows that recommendation into a three-day trip. And now let's, now let's just have some fun. Let's say, OK, yeah, I'm still trip planning. Um, we like to shop. Where can I shop? And you get some shopping recommendations. Like to go out at night, all right? Make the most of the trip. Where's the nightlife? And you get a list of nightlife. You see, this is just so much better than today's shirt. search to start uh, for your travel planning. Let me show you a final example of uh, chat and how I think the new language models are going to maybe help bring the world a little bit closer together. Understanding different cultures is often done through the arts, like music and literature. And I've been fascinated by Japanese traditions. Uh, Sati shared with me one of his favorite searches from a while back on poetry. So with that, I'm going to use that as inspiration. So without a clear idea of what I want, necessarily, I'm just going to type in a simple prompt, top Japanese poets. And Bing starts to respond with a nice list. And you see this, it does a great job of mixing the Japanese language and the English language. And it knows since I'm querying in English to do that. Right away, I learn about this poet, uh, Matsuo Bashu. Turns out he is uh, one of the greatest haiku masters of the world. Uh, I love how it not only lists his name, but we go ahead and we give you one of his famous haikus in Japanese, and we auto-translate it in English. Great. And I can say, oh, I'll learn a little bit more about Matsuo. So I can say, tell me a little bit more. We give you another jumping off point. That's great. And then I can say, hey, tell me about another haiku. Now, what I want you to reflect on is, look how easy this is to discover something new. Normally, I might not have done this. I might not have gone to learn about something new in the world through search, because it's just, you know, it's cumbersome to click on links and have to deal with foreign languages. But this is what we mean by unlocking the joy of discovery. All right, finally, when what you are searching for doesn't exist and you need that spark of creativity, Bing can generate the content to help you get started. We just finished planning that trip to Mexico, and now what I would like to do is I'd like to share that information with my family. 
They're all over the world. But I can simply ask Bing, hey, write an email sharing this itinerary uh, with, that I've researched and, and put it in a thing for me to be able to send to my family. So notice here how the email starts. It's a great email. Personalized touches, has the trip hi highlights. It, it'll close here with a nice heartfelt message. It's just a great way. It just saves a bunch of time on your everyday work. Now, for my family, uh, English isn't necessarily always the first language. So I can ask Bing to just translate that in Spanish. And with a simple request, just basically say, hey, translate to Spanish. Bing knows to take that entire email and itinerary and convert that into Spanish. In fact, Bing can translate automatically in over 100 languages. My sister, I'm going to admit to you, she's a better Spanish writer than I am. But I might just impress her with this one here. And even if I don't, I, at least I save myself a lot of time from having to type the mail. Our focus with Bing is to help generate content and inspiration that helps you within your daily life. And I'm going to give you a couple more examples. Uh, so let, let me show you one here. <clears throat> I want to create a weekly meal plan for my family of four that has vegetarian options and caters to those that don't like nuts. Since I'm not the healthiest of eater, I'm going to admit to you here on occasion, this is giving me a great uh, list day by day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, with all of the ingredients. So much easier to help you start, like to create a meal plan that says, hey, let me get to a healthier meal plan. Uh, now, this, there's some things in there I learned when I did this query, which is chia seeds, which I don't normally eat. And that sparked another idea to show you. Let's say I want to get this grocery list by grocery section. So all I can do is say, give me that grocery list by grocery section. And Bing now takes that exact menu for the week and puts all of the ingredients I need by section, by grocery section. So when I go shopping, now it can be super efficient. Right? So you see all of the ingredients there. It's a, great, it's a great help. And then finally, if you're looking for family activities and you're struggling for ideas, Bing can help you with fun things like spontaneous trivia games. My family and I were into music, so I asked Bing to create a 90s music trivia game. And uh, just look how great some of these questions are and the answer. So it just creates that game for you. And uh, um, we were having a little debate backstage about one of the questions that comes up here which is, uh, who wrote the hip song, uh, Jump Around? Is it Criss Cross or House of Pain? And I call it out because it shows you how clever it is. Because for those of you who know your 90s hip hop, Criss Cross wrote a song called Jump. But House of Pain was the one that wrote Jump Around. That's how clever Bing is. So Bing is going to help you make great with your, look great with your family and have a bunch of fun.